Hello everyone, and welcome back to Niche, the genetic survival game. And we are here with the Hushinawada pack, and thankfully things look like they might start getting a little bit better for them. So we have been doing really well actually spreading some of the genetics we actually want through our pack. We have gotten rid of the blindness, we've gotten rid of spit snout, which while it may have been useful for the poison factor, wasn't exactly my favorite. And we managed to get females back in the group, which was really good because at one point, hello, hello, Oh, who's wiggling over here, huh? We'll check that out in a little bit. But at one point, we were almost entirely out of females. And thankfully, we now have several females. And we have several nests. Look at that. We've got three nests right here. One nest, the traditional family nest, right over here. And so what we're going to do is we are actually going to start separating the sisters and trying to branch off into two distinct genetic lines. So that is our new goal. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull that out off. I really, really want to make sure that we can get some extremely powerful and very strong creatures like lace here has the six strength and then anise especially has eight strength which is kind of amazing and so her babies are pretty strong but we also are starting to look more towards getting the berry picker because tata here had four berry picker and four strength and i'm beginning to realize that may be a very ideal thing or even if we could build up a higher level of berry picking his effect he's gonna die of old age pretty soon unfortunately but his effect has really been a life saver when it comes to actually being able to gather a, a lot of food all in one grab because we're Right over here we have Nunuta, but he can only grab two little berries per turn. So that kind of limits us quite a bit. And then up here we have Nuta, who's a really strong fighter, and he can go off and like defend, and he can take out a, a rabbit like it's no problem, and he can take out those carnivores, and we can feast upon the carnivores. But he doesn't really help us when it comes to berry hunting. And so we'll have to see what we're gonna do about that. But Anise, you can just kind of sit right here. She's just gonna have to chill. Van Dooku, at least you can do a few different things and he's a little boy we have lace little girl over here i wonder if tata could survive long enough for one of my females to work their way up to him hmm uh animalia i forget what hurt you but something definitely hurt you animalia so i don't think animalia would be able to make it up and then to a nest in time hmm i wonder i really kind of want to try to breed tata because i like his i like his genetics but i think the problem was g and d f and g G and G. Yeah, I think the problem was we'll have to let that go for now because he's too closely related to all of his sisters. Fooey. All right, and our females are actually pretty wounded from their various battles that they have faced over their lifetimes. So we'll have to make sure we take very good care of them. I love this little panda guy. He's just so cute. Venduku, why don't we send you somewhere? Oh, and we have a new baby. Yes. Oh, and it's a boy and he's just as strong as his mom or not quite as strong because he's got a bit more movement, but he is a pretty strong one. So we'll keep an eye on him. Lace, I wonder, I wonder, hmm, are you related? I wonder if I should wait because she's one of our only like not actually hurt females. I wonder if I should just wait and kind of keep her for a minute. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll keep Lace and I'm going to see if we can find some rustling grass and discover a new creature because that would be very, very useful. So Nuta here is going to be our explorer. So we'll send him out. Oh, we got a bunny. Sweet. There we go. A little bit of bunny there. A little bit of that. Actually, I should have had Tata gathering up the berries now that I've realized. Oh, look, it's a bunny spot. Sweet. Now that I've realized just how much he can gather up. Oh, 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 we've got some more food. What do you mean I can't reach you? Rude. All right. Well, maybe I should go explore towards this tree really quickly because we're going to lose Nuta over here pretty soon, too. So, all right. There's a berry bush. Noted. And then I guess I could, where is the rustles? There's a rustle and rustle in somewhere around here. I hear it. But yeah, a lot of you guys have said we need to start going towards the rustling more often because the rustling will provide us F and F immunity. Okay. The rustling is actually going to be what will provide us with um, new, new genetic creatures, new creatures, new, uh, there we go. All right, let's see. Travoa, you've got a pretty good range, don't you? What is this? Oh, it's just a bunny. Fooey, I was really hoping it was going to be like a another creature, but unfortunately that doesn't look to be the case. Okay, so yeah, we need to get some more females. We have a lot of boys being born. So pretty much Nunita has to just sit here and breed with our two sisters. We're about to lose our third sister. 
and we'll start doing some heavy exploring and ah, like over here and looking for new creatures. So we're conquering the island slowly but surely, but we need to be able to bring in some new genetics. And now that we have multiple nests, no, I'm gonna miss you so much, old man. And now that we have some new genetics, we need to try very hard to kind of keep those genetics separated. All right, let's send this little guy up over to our big berry bush area so he can start gathering those up. And then Amelia, this is her last, her last time alive, as sad as that sounds. All right, is there any shaking bushes over here? And this one just turned out to be a bunny. So maybe I could go ahead, we'll explore over here so it'll be a little easier for some of our future explorers. Because that's what you kind of want to do as you move on. You want to make sure that you're exploring as you go. Because then your your future explorers you can send out and they can travel through this area a lot faster. You don't have to waste as many turns and as much food. Because you do waste food when you have to go one by one. So that's why I try to leave behind a lot of explored area. Alright, is this a girl or a boy? Yes, it's a girl! Sweet! How's her genetics? And she's good! D and F immunity. Wonderful. Darn, so she does sell some of Van Duke's uh, little air. Oh, blue eyes. Hello. Aren't you interesting? Have we somehow bred up a new creature? So we need to mutate red fur. And apparently that'll, I definitely want berry paw right now. In fact, actually, I wonder, Um, let's see if I can get something that'll give us more collecting. Runner's leg would help with collecting. And then hearing would be interesting. Let's see, maybe runner's leg instead of spots for a little bit. Mutate yellow fur, mutate dots and unlock secret condition. Mutate black eyes, mutate brown eyes, mutate green eyes. Hmm. I think we'll do that just to see if we can improve on some foods. But are you, yeah, little boy, he's pretty cute. I like him. All right, we'll scooch him over. And then we're going to have her breed again. Because we're a little bit desperate to make sure we keep the food going. And we're going to lose Nunita, our male, pretty soon. So got to keep an eye on that. All right, we'll have her... Do some like nearby exploring and then you my little friend Taravano here he can at least set out into the wilds and start exploring that direction aha see so he can go out and start exploring that direction so we do need to have some pretty adamant explorers ah dang it and we're gonna lose Nuta next turn rest in peace my little old man Fooey. All right, so yeah, we lost him, we lost her. No, when did we lose her? She was pregnant, it's so sad. Another tragedy at the nest. Oh, that, that's, uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We only have one female, that was not the plan. We were supposed to be able to get multiple females, Fooey. All right, breed with her, we're about to lose him too. Oh no, this is gonna get a little interesting. And then he doesn't have any collecting. So we might as well send the baby off so he can learn how to hunt hunt rabbits pretty soon. Speaking of hunting rabbits, what? When did we run out of food? All right, now we have to have Van Duku here. Start gathering this up. Can you get him? No, that bunny knew the baby was out of moves. All right, yeah, things are gonna get a little bit interesting over here, Fooey. All right, well, let's keep heading into the forest, I guess. Let's see, explore that rock. Ah, uh, we're running low on, on pack mates, you guys. Not cool. Hopefully we'll be able to find a pack mate over here. Is it anybody here? Dang it, it was just a bunny. Ah, oh, these bunnies are just taunting us. This is terrible. Okay, and now we have another baby. Oh, thank goodness, it's another girl. So we have two new little girls. Are you a pack mate? Dang it. No, 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 don't, don't get hurt, don't get hurt. I need to remember to gather up the food first. Okay, so we'll have the panda guy gather up the food. He is really cool. I love his markings. Van Duke has some of my favorite markings for sure. And then we have Lace here, our female. So I think I need to just like leave her there, more or less. She does have berry paw, so I might scooch her like right here so she can gather up some food. And then we've got this female and this female. So we do have, I think, where's the third nest? There is a third nest right here that we were just looking at. Is it right over here? We were just looking at three nests. So we do have three nests, so I might keep the females kind of nearby. We have this little one right here, Maliko, and she can gather up berries too. So I might send her off to help out over here. And let's see, what are her genetics? D and F, and we have G and F, and G and A. 
We're gonna have some more inbreeding at this rate no matter what I do, just because of how tight knit this group is and because we need more creatures in it. So speaking of more creatures, uh, I hate to use up all of the, the food points we have. I can't believe our little family group has shrunk down so much. All right, can you get this bunny? You can get the bunny. And then he, he's gonna have to, come on. Okay, we're gonna have to get the bunnies. All right, collect this, collect this. And then there's no food on these. We need rain, quick. Oh no, okay, that's gonna be a little interesting. Oh, I might have to hold still. Might have to hold still for a little bit. And then this guy, he's gonna come down because there's so many bunnies running around here. Nunicor, Nurokirir, uh, is actually pretty good. Anything in there? Dang it, just bunnies. He's actually pretty strong, so he might be able to help out. And actually, she might be able to help out too. Hmm. All right, we're just gonna have to survive right now, you guys. That's kind of gonna be stage one. Please rain. Ah, it didn't rain, but oh no, and somebody's sneezing. Why? Who got sick? No! Tarano. Okay, I am not sure what we're gonna do other than just have to dive into things. Are you gonna be able to get near any bunnies? We're just gonna dive in and we're just gonna do our best to gather up what food we can. We've got only a few females. We need to we need to have a hunting group that can focus on hunting. Can you find anything over here? Dang it. In fact, I wonder if they can almost scare bunnies towards one another. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna have to hold still because I'm out of food. Yes, thank goodness. Oh, we have food. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, all right. And then near core, okay, he can gather up this. Um, she can gather up food from here. Okay, so we're gonna have to be very careful because we only have so many left. All right, can she help out, Rasira? Yes, she can. If I send her over here, she could probably gather up these. There's from that, okay. Yeah, we're down to being threatened with low food again, okay. All right, come on, there has to be something over here. Oh, I meant to move him. Okay, we need to start chasing the rustling bushes. And it looks like the rustling bushes so far, unfortunately, are all bunnies. Because we need we need new genetic stat. Oh yeah? You are a very smart bunny. Alright, and then I wonder if she can help out by moving over here. Yeah, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for bunnies. Oh come on. Please be oh, I can't I can't explore this area, dig it! Um, please be a new creature. I need new genetics. We're gonna have to start breeding soon. We're about to get down to really low levels. Come on. Dang it. All right. Oh, come on. And... Oh! Well, this is something at least. Okay, there's, there's something going on over there. They're gonna have to fight for their lives. That's just the way it is, but at least we'll have a lot of food. So that's a good thing. And then we'll go ahead, can you get them? All right, go ahead and collect these. And then, can you collect that? Nope, he can't do any, oh, 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 oh. <gasps> come on! Ah, uh, ah, uh. all right, well, at least we got some bunnies. I was really hoping that was gonna be like a new creature. Okay, we may have to make some hard decisions and just snag some of my favorites and breed them. Okay, seven attack, six attack. So, sweet, look at all that food we just got, wonderful. Good, good, good. So that happened at least. So this guy I really, really like even though he doesn't have picking uh, berry paw because he's pretty strong. Look, and he has poison fangs. Ah, oh, he might be able to pass on poison fangs. We might snag him and so will she. So unfortunately, these two are very close to being related but I think we're gonna have to just go ahead and take what we've got and send her on over. All right, come on little bun buns and send her on over to have a baby because Lace is getting so old, she's gonna pass away pretty soon. No, 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 don't you attack that, don't attack it. Oh, phew. Lace is getting really old, so I don't think she's gonna live much longer. Rasira here, hmm, she carries the recessive for blue eyes and she has berry paw, big nose, ram, panda pattern. She, is, she does have secondary panda pattern, so she might be able to have an interesting baby with this guy, Venduku, we're just gonna have to see. I think they're actually like way too closely related. Gee, yeah, they're way too closely related though, so. But everybody is! I'm out of options! <laughs> uh, 
All right, hang on. Gonna gather this up. Sweet. The bunnies are being very obliging for our hunting over there. So yeah, everybody is too closely related. So it's not like I can, oh, there's the other nest. Okay, there, if we explore it, I won't lose it again. All right, so yeah, everyone's just too closely related. So we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to deal with it, you guys. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have weak inbred sick little children, unfortunately, because those are all the options I've got open to me right now. All right, so they're gonna have a baby, and then we'll just try to keep those ones as separate as possible when it comes to sitting on their nest. And then I think we can just go ahead, and since Lace is about to pass away, uh, maybe we can just, with the food we've got, let her explore on the edges of the wilderness a little bit. And then this guy... I want to send him into the wild. He's really cool. I love his blue eyes. And you, come on. Oh, no, I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, I've run that guy into the ground a little too hard trying to chase down food. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of berries I can pick right over here. And then I've got, okay, there we go. Now we're in the nest. And any food over here? Go! Run after it! Ah, oh, dang it! No, I thought we had more food! <gasps> Fooey! Fooey! Alright, we're just gonna have to hold still for a second. And then I'll have to send my female over in just a minute. Oh no! Our mom died. Oh, we have a new baby! Is it sick? <gasps> He's got venomous! He's got the fangs, you guys! Oh, she's a girl! She's a girl! And she has semi-decent genetics! And she has, like, the genetics for red mane! And she's got secondary blue eyes! That didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was gonna be! That's why sometimes, even if it's not ideal- Oh no, I didn't want to hurt her! Sometimes, even if it's not completely ideal, it's really helpful to be able- Let's move you here, and you can gather those up to be able to just breed with the guys that you've got right now. So there's that. And we're gonna send her tucked into the nest neatly so she can have her baby. All right, come on. So yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna keep an eye. Ooh, ooh, survive my little one. I think I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on uh, the immunity genetics and stop worrying quite so much about the genetics of like, uh, the family tree part of it. So we'll just focus on the actual like immunity genes and trying to keep those separate and Next time after we complete. Okay, come on. You can do it. Oh, man. Isn't he so cool? This is definitely one of my favorites But next time after we complete this Tribe however, they're going to end up being then we will hopefully be able to keep like separate tribes in the future So it's a learning process because again, this is you know my first time doing this so it makes sense that it's all new and fresh and hello bunny New fresh and a little bit confusing in so many ways But that's part of the fun of it too is just learning how to do it. Take him out. Take him out. Look at all that food Niroki, I love you. You're so cool. Oh man, he is really cool. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of exploring over here because gosh darn If nothing else, I want to make sure we can get some exploring done on this. <gasps> Look at our new panda baby! Oh, it looks awesome! Who are you? It's a girl! Sirico, and she's okay! Yeah, you guys, I think a lot of you guys have been really, really, really worried about... Oh, and look at the fangs! We've got poison fangs in the family now. We have stronger uh, panda genetics. We've got blue eyes. A lot of you guys have been really worried about, like, how closely related everybody is, but I think as long as I am just keeping an eye and making sure that the ones that we breed are, like, not immunity similar. So we've got two little girls. F and G, D and F, then we might be able to get by with everything. So can you come over and breed with him again then? Because you guys had a successful baby and I highly approve of that. All right, and then we'll move her over here, gather up a little bit of food, and I'm gonna send her off to meet with him because they had some pretty good babies. And then I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, Tarano, I really loved you. And I just, I ran you into the ground. I'm sorry. And I think we just need to focus on getting more members again. Because we're getting really scary low on how many pack mates we have. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're getting scary low on how many pack mates we have again. So I think we just need to focus on having more babies for a little while. All right. And can you gather this up? You can. He's got the poison fangs. It's awesome. And then let's send you and you. So these two are like Romeo and Juliet almost. 
rushing oh wait she had some extra moves and i didn't even notice rushing to me to cross the the grasslands and we'll go ahead and let them have another baby and we'll just have to start breeding more babies but yeah thank you guys for your patience still learning how to do everything having a really fun time just watching the stories unfold hello little one van kier and his genetics are okay too that's such a relief and he's got little black eyes that is so cool so yeah, I want to get lots of babies from this guy because he's really, really cool. And I think that he is just so awesome. I just love his look. And we'll see how many children we can have from him and what they will look like. And we'll continue to try to explore. What is over here? What is rustling over here? Ah, what are you? Ah, oh, it's just a bunny. We'll continue to try to explore and add to our pack next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.